Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a Steam profile like this, where you have uh, those overlapping background images in your artworks. Um, especially how to make ones where you have an uh, animated background and a fitting animated image. Because I only could find really cool tutorials on how to import static images and that was kind of annoying. Um, got a disclaimer at the beginning as after some time it will have uh, desync with the image and the background but when you load into the profile so what most people will see is it's more or less synced um yeah it's actually pretty easy to do and i will show you a step-by-step -step guide how to do everything you need to know and you just can follow the first steps along when you want to import a static image you also can edit those artworks but yeah i just don't want to talk too much about it i just want to show you so First of all, you need to go into your browser. You already can log into your Steam account, but for the first step you don't need to, but you have to be on your profile, okay? Once you are on your profile, you will right-click and inspect the site, okay? Um, you will get a window that looks something like this. Um, if you don't have this filter thing at the bottom, just press Control F, okay? And into this thing, you want to copy the first command or search from my description put it in here and this will redirect you here um, you will have either a video or image depending on your background obviously um, when you have the video and want to extract the video um, when you have the image no, with the image when we have the image just double click it and you will get a link here and press ctrl c to copy the link and now i can check if it's the right image by pasting it into another tab and as you can see we got the image but we don't want the image we want the video right so what you have to do is hit this little arrow to open up some more uh, sources and you have two different sources you have a video slash webm and a video slash mp4 you want the video slash mp4 just double click on the source again um, copy the link with ctrl c and when you type it in here as you can see you have a video okay this link you now put, you you now just save with, well, you already have it saved, obviously. So, and you will go onto the first website in the description and it will look something like this. And you have this blank space here. You will click on that one and press Control V. And that will insert the MP4 link that you copied earlier. And as you can see, it already gives you a preview of what it's supposed to look, right? Um, with the sliced artwork. Now the only thing you have to do is hit download zip what that's doing it will download a zip with all the sliced images in and it looks like this okay so those uh, into your downloads folder on your explorer so next thing you want to do is uh, create a folder um, either on your desktop or in another folder um, in my case i have it um, in uh, another folder here uh, steam artworks and you can drag and drop the, the thingy from downloads this into here. Um, I don't need that because I already have it in here. So once you have the folder in here, you want to right click on it and go to extract all. What that will do, it will just create an identical folder that's no zip so it uh, can actually use the files. Um, as you can see here, we have the sliced files in here. There's only one issue now that we have to resolve and that's that those files are mp4s and for the steam you need gifs so what we want to do next is go to the second link into the description mm -hmm. It'll be this and you have to select your mp4 image oh that's not the mp4 image uh, oops this mp4 image okay and then you just go to upload and make a gif it will take some time blah 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 oh no it won't take some time it will give you some options and one important thing now is uh you have the frame rate here you want to change it to the highest value you can for me it's 33 in this case and convert to gif um once you've done that you could save it already but there's one issue steam only will allow images that are smaller than 8 megabytes and this one has 12 so what we want to do is go on optimize and here for this image in specific or this gif we can type in 45 it will vary um, depending on on the 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 gif you're using um because it depends on the detail and how much elements are moving and other stuff um how much compression it's need it is needed to get it beneath 
eight. So you want to have it at seven point something, okay? In this case, seven point eight. Um, just play with the values if this value isn't good enough for you. If it's like five point something, then you can have a lower value, or if it's eight point something, then a higher value. Um, so when you have converted this image by pressing optimize GIF, you can save it and you will get the GIF downloaded. You can save it into your folder, um, into a separate folder for like finished edited GIFs or whatever. Um, yeah, but that's basically the first steps you have to do. Then you can go back to your Steam in your browser. You have to be logged in for the next step now. And what you want to do is check one thing. And you go to edit profile and profile background. You want to have it set to original size, not full size. That's our full screen. That's one important thing. Otherwise, it won't work. So now next thing you want to do is upload the artwork. Um, you have to hit go to artworks, obviously, when you're on your profile. It's down here. Upload artwork. And then you want to select non-game specific, since obviously you're not uploading any game artwork. You're uploading a background. So. Here you can give it a title, um, in this case I just go, will name it this for vid. Um, upload a file, uh, make sure you don't sec select the mp4, make sure you select the gif you just created and saved. As you can see here it says .gif at the end, so that's what you want. Um, and now you have to set it to public and select uh, that you created this thing yourself. And now there's one more thing you have to do. It's really important, actually. You have to right-click the page again, go to Inspect, go to Console up here, and copy and paste the second command from the video description into the console and hit Enter. Um, I don't really know what it does, but it converts the image in some way that it actually works as a profile background. It isn't like some weird shape. So once you have done this, you can hit Save, then it just will load. Uh, take some time and there we go this for bid um, usually it will give you some yellow message that tells you that they're still scanning if the image is suited for upload or not um, but so for some reason it didn't do that this time so don't be surprised if you get this little yellow text at the top so once you have uploaded the image you go back to your profile and now you want to go to edit profile and to uh, profile showcase make sure the top one is artworks and then here you want to select a top left image okay like it's a small bugged image because it doesn't work properly but you want to select the top left image um as you can see it's weird as well now but trust me it will work it will load after some time so just hit save um and go back to your profile and as you can see, it's weird now, but like it takes around, I don't know, 10 to 20 seconds until the Steam Steam will correctly display it for some reason here, as you can see. Now it's uh, kind of desynced um, when you hit F5 or just reload the page normally. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry for that. Um, it will automatically be the right image size. And as you can see, it's the image this for vid. Um, so... It worked. Um, as you can see, after some time it will desync slightly. I don't really know how to fix it. I guess it has something to do with the GIF speed or with uh, the website not not loading correctly. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's barely noticeable and only appears after some time. So if you want to do it with the small image, it's all the same steps. You only have to select a small MP4, obviously. Follow all the same steps. All the same codes and then when you want to put into your profile you just have to select one of those small thingies at the left uh, at the right and put the image in there yeah that's basically it if you have any questions feel free to ans uh, ask them in the in the comment section i will do my best to answer them as long as i know the answer and uh, yeah if you have any questions or uh, recommendations just let me know and uh, leave a like if you liked the video and it helped you. Um, yeah, have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>